if you want to install Dynamic Island on Paco F7, what you can do is you can go to the Play Store and then you can search for Dynamic Spot, which is an app that allows us to uh, get the Dynamic Island. Of course, there are some other apps that we can use as well. However, I'm just going to show you how to set up this one. Feel free to try anything else. So once you install it, just press open and I'm going to show you how to set this one up. So once we go through this uh, welcome message, you should be able to press next. And then we have the instructions. So first, we need to select apps that will be synchronized with the dynamic island. You can choose individual apps or you can just press all over here in the top right corner in order to include everything. After that, we need to grant access to notifications. So select this option over here, go to dynamic spot and then allow notification access. Press over here on the circle that you are aware of possible risks. And after 10 seconds, you should be able to press the red OK button over here. There we go. Go to draw on screen now. And you should be able to set to no restrictions. Go back, tap again, press next. Wait a couple of seconds. Go to downloaded apps, choose dynamic spot, and then select that you want to use it. And here, once again, select that you are aware of possible risks. There we go. And in 10 seconds, press OK. All right. And then we can press done. If you see this pro offer, uh, we can close it by pressing this X in the top right corner. And the app is pretty much ready to be used. However, before we move on or before we end this video, I can also show you this position option, which allows you to adjust the size and position of the dynamic island, because as you can see, um, it doesn't uh, look that great. So over here, I actually need to center it back again. This is not the one that I tried to use. All right, let's set it to zero. Over here, the vertical, vertical position can be moved up a little bit because we can see that it is not as it should be. We can also change the vertical size, make it a little bit bigger. And oh, I just moved it way too much. Uh, let's see if we can make it better. There we go. So something like this, of course, you can copy these settings as you wish. And we can also make it a little bit wider, something like that. We can maybe make it even bigger if we want to. I just made it the same size as the camera size at the front. I think it looks good enough, but of course, feel free to just make it uh, better in case you are not satisfied with these options. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe.